Alright guys, so it's currently 1.40 p.m. I woke up like 30 minutes ago, and then I just let my dogs out, and my dogs, and then I just swept up whatever was on the floor. This is all that we have got since last night when I swept, so not too bad. Here's how the tree is looking. It's looking very full, but the bottom is really the only part that hasn't completely filled out yet. And some sides are more full than others. Hopefully it falls down some more so we don't have that big gap there. But either way, I think it looks really good. So we're just going to watch a show and hang out for a little bit. And this is what I'm wearing today. I'm probably not going to change because I'm literally just going to my parents to make cookies. But I'm wearing this, which I wore yesterday. And then I'm wearing these, which I wore the other day. I'm going to make... This Annie's Mac for lunch before I leave. Um, Gordo just knocked this tree down. I honestly think he likes this one better than that one because that one like irritates his skin and this one doesn't. Oh my goodness. Okay guys, so I just ate and then I just went to start my car. So I pretty much just have to put on some deodorant, some perfume and some socks. And then grab my coat and my purse before I leave. But my Amazon packages already came today. But I believe three things came, but there's two boxes. Let's just uh, open it up. My waist leash came. You can attach this bag for putting treats inside or like poop bags or whatever you need. So you can lock it so it doesn't come off. And this is the, the leash, the actual leash that you attach to yourself. And it's like has these in them that like stretch to make it like anti pull. Got one for both my dogs and then my cat. They're basically lick mats. So you can put like yogurt, peanut butter, berries, like there's so much stuff that you can put in here. And then you like freeze it. So it suction on the bottom. And then it even comes with like a little spreading thing. So it's a three pack. So it came with green and blue. And I guess this is a two pack, which I did not realize. But they're basically like outdoor little extension cord blocks so if you need to plug multiple things in. I don't know if I'm going to even need them this year. I thought we were going to be getting a blow up but we're not anymore. They'll come in handy whenever I get like more outside Christmas decoration. So this delivery actually came early. This was supposed to come tomorrow. This is the space heater that I got. It's a ceramic heater. It has three settings. Adjustable thermostat. The one that like if you tilt it, it will turn off. It's 1500 watts faster heat. A little space here by Give Best. Look at that. Looks pretty nice. And then I also got these uh, Chewia Advanced No Food Probiotic Tooth for Dogs. It's for their gut health. So we'll see how they work for my dogs. There's 180. So this is what they look like. Pretty small. They s definitely smell like pumpkin. It says for dogs 26 to 75, so those would be both my dogs, are supposed to get six a day, but it says to start with half of the amount. So they're each supposed to get three a day. The yummy? Oh, it's it. The yummy? They really like them. They want more. Alright, I'm gonna show Ben everything that came, and then I got to grab all my stuff and all that so I can leave. So it's 3 o'clock, and I'm just now leaving when I told my mother I would be there around 2 30 or 3. So we're gonna be there at like 3 20, 3 25. Oops. Okay, it's like 3.30. I just got here a little bit ago. He's cutie brownie, cutie mati. But I put on some Christmas music. And I wanted to show you that Kaylee decorated in here. And it's so cute. 
but here's where it's going on. Alright, so my dad got the sugar cookie dough ready, and we gotta put it in the fridge covered so it can set. And then I'm gonna start making the jam thumbprint dough. We got some eggnog. Put the sugar cookie dough in a smaller ball so it can chill faster. And I just got done with the jam thumbprint dough. So we can start rolling those into sugar, into balls, and then pressing those. So we're working on the peanut butter kiss dough now. And we got all of our jam thumbprints all shaped out and rolled out. There's two big plates here and then a small paper plate. So those have to chill for like 20 more minutes. Okay, so we put our first tray of cookies in which is the sh uh, peanut butter ones. And then we're still working on rolling the rest of the peanut butter ones. Okay, the second tray is going in. Oh no. There. Okay, so these ones are done. And then I'm putting these ones in. Oh, I thought those two pans at first. And then I have to press these in them immediately. Here's how they look. I'm gonna move them over there to cool. All right, we got another batch done. This one over here. Here's the ones I got on there so far. All right. Last peanut butter one's going in. So we have that one and that one left of peanut butter. Okay, so now we're gonna fill our thumbprints, which are all ready to go, with jam, and then we gotta put them on here, and they cook for 11 minutes, I think. Okay, these ones are ready to be. I assume this is just how you do it. You just press it in the middle. And do it mm. for all of them. Peep, peep. Since my mom is go ahead. Get them out of jail, I want to put these out to cool. Two weeks? I had no idea we were going to get all the cookies. Okay, so we got two trays ready to put in the jam ones. And then we have this many left to do once those ones are cooked. This is the last batch of the peanut butter ones. All right. These are the last peanut butter ones, so all the peanut butter ones are done. Alright, now we're going to put these ones in for 11 minutes. Go. Okay, so I messed up and I put wax paper on it. Look, look, that's what's on your Yeah, whatever. I accidentally put wax paper on the pans instead of parchment paper, so we're retrying it with some grease pans here. Oops. Alright, so now I'm making my buttercream frosting for our sugar cookies. Um, here's what we have left to bake of the jam cookies, and then there's about seven minutes left on the ones in the oven. And, but we need to start rolling these out and cutting them out. Because those need to sit in the freezer before they cook, too. Right? Okay, I'm going to focus on this for now, and we're going to do that after we get some of these rolled out, cut out, and chilled. Alright, so we got our first tray going in the fridge for 10 minutes. I'm just going to, like, shove it. These ones are done, so we got to move these over there, and then these onto the tray to go in the oven. Alright, so those are over here cooling. They're not the prettiest because we made them a bit too big, but hopefully they still taste good. And then I'm putting in the last batch of the jam ones, 11 minutes. And now I'm going to work on doing another tray of these ones. This one's ready to go in the oven. That one's ready to go in the oven. Yeah, can I just wait till I get this one? Yeah, and then I'm going to put... This one in the fridge. 
All right. These ones can go in now. Want to open the oven? No, I don't. Put a timer on. This, then, I gotta go take them off there. And then this is our last pan going in the fridge. And now I'm gonna make clean this up and then make that the frosting. Okay. These ones are done now. So we're gonna cool them. So the first batch that we put in is done. We're just letting them cool and then we'll move them over there. Okay, so the last batch that we took off, our first one, it didn't work so well because we didn't spray the pans. So I'm gonna take them off while they're still warm because I think they'll come off the pan better for this batch. All right, so the last batch of sugar cookies is in the oven. And I just made the frosting, so I'm gonna keep this much white, and then I'm gonna do red and green. The frosting's here in the bag, and then here's how all of them are looking. Right now, we're taking a break to eat, and then I think my sisters are gonna help me um, decorate all the sugar cookies. All right, we got all of them all decorated. We're just adding some sprinkles. So here is all the cookies done. I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit and then I'll be leaving soon. Look at this huge candy cane. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna be leaving in like 10 minutes. Aaron just started my car for me because he was leaving. I'm just cuddling with cute little brownie. But it's, I got here at 3.30, and then we got done, completely done with the cookies, probably around 7.15, 7.20, something like that, and now it's like 7.45. So it took like four hours to make cookies. Mm -hmm. So it is the next morning, as you can see. It is Monday the 27th. So last night I got home at like 8.30. And then I hung out with my dogs, hung out with Ben for a bit, and I honestly was pretty lazy, and I didn't get my stuff done. I was going to put away dishes and work on my bullet journal and finish editing this video, but I didn't. But we watched a movie, and I, we ate some snacks and stuff, and I didn't go to sleep until like 12.15, probably. <laughs> I also forgot to mention that on my way to my mom's house yesterday, it was snowing. So, uh, more snow, and then it actually snowed last night, I think, too. And you guys, I, I don't know what's going on this morning, but I woke up an hour late. I was supposed to open, and I didn't get to work until 8 instead of 7. And Ben has my debit card still from Saturday when we went shopping. Now I can't buy my Christmas lights or the rest of my decorations today on my break. I have to wait till tomorrow, which literally makes me want to cry because I really wanted to decorate my tree tonight. For the next video I will be filming is probably going to be later this week when I film like my decoration tour slash house tour. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below to see more from me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.